On to coverings. As one of our most popular tools, CAD Image Coverings has had a huge number of enhancements. Most notably, the addition of presets into the wall and roof coverings. This makes it much easier to save your commonly used wall and roof cladding styles and allows for easy office-wide consistency. The process to place them is the same as in V14. Just go to Covering in the menu and then click Roof Coverings. The dialogue had been juggled a little and the colors have changed, but otherwise they should be quite familiar to you if you've used the previous versions. Presets are here as well now. You can see the list of presets from the starter file here. And clicking on Custom will let you edit the settings as you would have done before. The great thing with presets here is that while ribbed has lots of different uses, BB900, Euro tray, whatever, you can set all those up prior to the placement of your covering. Previously, you had to place the default covering and then go back into the settings and apply a favorite. Now it can all be done at placement, so it's much more efficient. And all the various settings in the menu here can have presets set for them. So gutters, for instance, presets for Marley Colonial, color steel, half round, and whatever else. So you can make presets for all the things that you regularly use in your practice so that you can use them very quickly and easily next time. You can also make material presets, which are really handy. Set a paint preset while you're doing all your concept designs, and then once you start getting into the detail, you can change it to how you actually want it to look. Additionally, probably most importantly of all, the roof coverings will attach to ArchiCAD's fancy new multi-plane roof that I've just selected. So as the roofs change shape, the coverings all adjust accordingly. So if I add a little bit out the front, the coverings come across straight away. And then if I change it to have a gable end, the coverings sort themselves out to fit to that too.